Hi, Sydney. Hi, I'm Dr. Allman. I'm here with Sydney, and we're in a swing. We're in a swing, aren't we, Sydney? Now, you might think that this swing is a pendulum. You would be wrong. Because a pendulum changes its oscillating frequency. How much time it takes to swing back and forth? It changes it as a function of 2 pi times the square root of length over the acceleration due to gravity. Yes, but we don't change the length of this pendulum, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't change the length of the pendulum. This pendulum can change its speed with a touch of a button up here. So let's give a pendulum a touch of a try. We're changing the speed. And now this thing has a spring in it. The oscillating frequency of a spring in harmonic motion is a function of 2 pi times the square root of the mass of little Sydney divided by the spring constant. So there's a spring in there that can change its oscillating period. Now what's actually happening is that there's not a spring in here, it's giving it a little push. And so the pendulum equation actually is applicable. This would be the same period of oscillation regardless of the mass of the baby. Because what's changing is the acceleration due to gravity. Yes, instead of letting gravity pull the pendulum down, this is actually giving it a push. This is giving it a little push. Yes, it is. And so the period of oscillation would in fact be 2 pi times the square root of L over G. Yes, it would. But by giving a little push, we change G. Yes, we do. And we get to go faster and faster and faster. It's so much fun. Isn't physics easy? Yes, it is. Yes, it is easy.